The U.S. Air Force has selected Tennessee State University as the first historically black university or HBCU to host an aviation training program for high schoolers. Peyton Kennedy is live at TSU, TSU now with that story, Peyton. And to kill 19 students from across the country and around the world were selected by the Air Force to be a part of this moment. So right now, students are on campus completing lectures and flight simulators before heading over to John Toon Airport for hands on training. They're ages 16 to 17. Aim High Flight Academy is supported by a half a million dollar grant from the FAA. And by the end of camp, students will have up to 15 hours of flight training that goes toward their pilot license. They'll also be educated in STEM and robotics. TSU says this program allows them to play a critical role in contributing to the industry's growth, safety and reliability. For me, uh, engineering is one of my childhood passions, but just being able to make change of your own two hands, you know, like to be able to see a problem in front of you and like not just be a bystander, but be someone who actively works to solve a problem. I'm very, uh, I'm very happy to, and very passionate to be surrounded by such motivated and talented people, and that really pushes me to do my best as well. Yeah, really talented students here for the Flight Academy that will wrap up on June 21st. But TSU says they're going to use the remainder of that half a million dollar grant money to create their own pro program modeled off of this one. Live in Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.